Thanks. Here is a nice problem. We are given cos theta, sin phi, and sin theta. These are in geometric progression. Then we have to prove the roots are real for this quadratic equation x square plus 2 cot phi into x plus 1 equals 0. Please note in this equation there is no theta, right? There is only phi. But we still have to prove that the roots are real for this equation, for this quadratic equation. When are roots real? When v square minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0, then roots will be real. If they are less than 0, then roots will be imaginary. So we have to prove v square minus 4 is for this is greater than or equal to 0 using this phi and this phi is related to theta, right? Phi is related to theta using because these three are in geometric progression. Okay, let's try to prove this one. Okay, when cos theta sin phi and sin theta, these are in geometric progression. That means b square equals ac. Right? This square a should be equal to product of this and this. Okay, that's what we have written here. Sin square theta, sin square, sin square phi should be equal to product of cos theta and sin theta. Right? Then, what is our determinant? That is b square minus 4 ac. That is 2 cos 2 cot phi. That is 4, the square of this, 4 cot square phi minus 4 into 1. This should be greater than or equal to 0. Let's try to prove this. Okay. What is, what is uh, cot theta, cot phi? Cot phi is cos by, is cos phi by sine phi. Okay. Cot square is cos square by sine square. Okay, 4 part square minus 4. That means 4 into this one minus 1. Okay, let me simplify this. That means cos square phi minus sin square phi by sin square phi. If we take, if we complete this. Okay, if we simplify this. Then what does that mean? Cos square theta, cos square phi, we can write it as 1 minus sin square phi also. So this one will become 1 minus sin square phi minus sin square phi, which is 1 minus 2 sin square phi. Okay. This by sin square phi. Now, what is sin square phi? Sin square phi is actually, these three are in geometric progression. Sin square phi should be equal to cos theta into sin theta. Okay. That means 1 minus 2 sin theta cos theta. But what is 1? 1 we can always write as sin square theta plus cos square theta. Okay, so basically we have sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta. What does that mean? This we can write it as sin theta minus cos theta whole square. Okay, or cos theta minus sin theta whole square, whichever doesn't matter. 1 minus 2 sin theta cos theta is, is we can write this as square of this. Okay, so, so we have this one 4 into 1 minus 1 minus 2 sin theta cos theta is actually 4 into sin theta minus cos theta whole square by sin square phi. This is nothing but, this is also 2 square. This is nothing but 2 times sin theta minus cos theta by sin phi whole square. So, this overall thing is a perfect square, right? This is a square. That means this is always greater than or equal to 0. But what is this? This is our original determinant, right? What is original b square minus 4 ac b square minus 4 ac now we have derived it is greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 so that's why the roots are real and why b square minus 4 ac should be greater than or equal to 0 because we know the roots are minus b underscore plus or minus b square minus 4 ac by 2a okay these are the roots part of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c okay now what does that mean if this is less than 0 if this becomes less than 0 then this part will become imaginary Right. So, for example, then we will get something like minus 2 plus or minus 3 i or whatsoever because, because this thing will become negative. The, the one within this root will become negative. So, then this will become imaginary. Right. So, that's why we don't want imaginary solutions. We want real solutions. That means b square minus 4 ac should be greater than 0. If they are greater than 0, that is greater than 0, then we will not get i. Probably we might get, uh, we might get irrational irrational ones probably or rational ones also right minus 2 plus or minus root 3 root 5 something like this also we might get but that is still fine that is still real 
here, but if this becomes negative, this becomes complex, which we don't want in this case. Right, guys? Hope you like this. Thank you.